Joining me again today. Today I'm going to be talking about VR mode on the Lichap. When I had a play with it today. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was different. It was very scary because you can't see your quad, and uh, you can hear it, uh, but you can't see it. You're literally seeing what the camera sees. Some people often say, well, you know, how do you get VR mode on Litchi? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just power on one of my phones, start the Litchi app up. Do -do -do. Okay. In this, there we are, right? In this top corner here, there's a little pair of goggles. Oop, sorry, there. Little pair of goggles there. So I get that right so you can get to see it. Tap that when Litchi's connected and it will launch the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the quad and I'll show you that actually working. Now the dulcet tones and the Phantom 2 vision starting up. Camera's there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all on this. This is the Samsung S3 which I've had for a long time, a very long time. See, it has seen, seen better days. I'll just turn the screen off. You can see it is slightly well used, screen's cracked, it's been dropped a few times. Still a perfectly usable phone uh, for Phantom 2 Vision. Screen quality is okay in some dark light, in some light it does struggle a bit. And here I have the Samsung S5 which I've recently acquired. So let's get the Samsung first of all. Make sure Wi-Fi is turned off on my other phone or else it will cause problems. Okay. Bring up Wi-Fi, who am I connected to? Oh, connected to my home right, home Wi-Fi at the moment. Uh, Phantom is now available. Let's connect to that. Okay, so connected to Phantom Network. Let's put on Litching. See that? Bear in mind this is obviously only for the P2. Uh, if you've got a P3 or a P4, oh, sorry, uh, can't be that one, I don't know anything about them. So as you can see now the quad shows where we go, so you can see on the, on the phone what the quad sees as we have there. So as I said, if you simply touch the pair of glasses, oops, that is because there's an option for head tracking, which is uh, there. I'll just turn that off. Put the camera back in the position. There we go. So what it does is it splits the screen like this, and you can see what you do then once you've got the uh, the split screen like that. You need a pair of the glasses, and then to have a set. These are from Amazon, they cost me £15. And all they are is that way up, head strap, you look through there, then you put the phone in there. So I'll pop the phone in. The only problem with popping phones in these is that you have to be very careful because sometimes you press the screen and the app disappears. Once it's in, you can then look through, obviously I can't show you on the camera. Look through there and you can actually see what the camera sees and the quality is not too bad. Now the only problem I found was, let's set this out again, on this Samsung S3, the first time I'd use it, literally would work great. So I thought, okay mate, go down to the local field, um, set it all up, get ready for, uh, get ready to fly, just kill Litchie for oh, no less worse. Kill the litchy up there like that. So I get down the field, I start up and I go, okay, litchy, yep, yeah, okay, fantastic, let it launch, let it connect. Wait for it to come online. Once it's connected, hit the VR mode, and you would get, you know, every time I've done this so far in the past, the S3 just gives me all green blocks. Today, of all days, when I'm trying to show you what it does, it didn't do it. That's just typical of uh, doing a video. However, as you can see, I'll, I'll, I can show you now on the S3 instead of the, the S5 I was going to show you on. 
you get a split screen and you can see, you can put on, there's a little button here you can tap. And you've got on-screen display, so you can turn that off if you like. Uh, text depth, uh, you can change the text depth. Gimbal speed and aspect ratio, 16.9. The head tracking function, I'll try and show you. If I turn it back on here, see we quad tilts the camera down. And if I tilt it back up, it tilts up and down. Now the reason why this isn't working properly is because I've made some changes to the gimbal and now for some reason it thinks down is up and up is down. So obviously that would now, as far as the quad's concerned, that is now flat and it isn't. Um, that's, that's a fault with the gimbal, that's not a fault with the, uh, with, with the, the head tracking unit. It does work, I have tested it before. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you get into it. Uh, it does work, it's, it's not too bad. Um, on the Samsung S3, um, the screen quality is a little bit lower than on the S5. Uh, when you were going away, because, I, because obviously in the field, I didn't use the S3 out in the field today because I did have this issue with the uh, green blocks coming up on the screen. Today, obviously, as I said, I'm not getting them. So let me just turn that one off for a second. Pop on the S5. Turn on Wi-Fi. Connected to the network for me already. Let me launch Milici. It's the same on this one again. The picture quality for the S5, by the way, better quality the S3. You can see more in daylight than you can with the S3. And then obviously tap the glasses. Now the only problem I found, see little green lines up then, was that when it was quite close, the image tends to freeze a lot on the S5. Uh, anything within sort of 20 feet of you and it froze. Also when it got a certain distance away again it would freeze. It might be the S5, the S6 might be better. The S7 if you've got the gear VR they would be absolutely ideal for something like this because they're built for VR mode. Uh, these are literally just taking the screen you normally have and just exit out of VR mode. Tap to exit. Well it does it takes the screen and splits it and produces it twice which is why you need a, a decent quality phone to, to do it. Uh, if you video drives and your phone, your video chip and your phone's not up to it, then uh, basically you just, you just put the green lines. I was hoping to show you the green lines I had on mine because it would be nice to show you. But as always, like I said, when you're doing a video, it decides he's not going to do it. Let's just try and see if I can get a couple of the green lines now in VR mode. Let's just exit that for a second and go back into it again. And yeah, also does that occasionally as well, sometimes it just doesn't do anything at all. Try exit VR, go back into it again. Yeah, so what we need to do is actually kill the, the app in its entirety, so let's go back to there. Hold that again, kill the app. Go back into it. Now I just actually had a thought, this is literally for the P2 only. When I tried this originally it was on the one for the P2 and the P3 version that Litchi had out. As you know, they split the P2 and the P3 apart, and there's now a paid for P3 version. Litchi is now free on the App Store. Right, let's see now whether or not it does it for me. No, you know, I'm actually really impressed that uh, it's actually worked every time. Now, as I say, it might be because Litchi split the app between the P2 and P3. This is purely a P2, it's built for the P2, and hence the fact it seems now to be, uh, to be working better. So, out in the field today, and uh, I'll just show you a picture. This was my son. He was uh, stood having a play with it. You can see there, he was, uh, he did look a bit strange. If you're a, an FPV flyer and you've got like the, the Fat Shark, Dominator, Goggles, whatever they are, the, the Boss Cam system, you know, you're used to this. You know, for you, uh, as a, an FPV flyer, you know, that's what you're used to. It, it, it might not seem strange, but if you spent your whole life, well, your, your whole career with quads, so to speak, uh, looking at basically that, and then you go from that to not be able to see your quad, all you can see is the image that comes on the screen. It is a little bit disconcerting at first, and it's not something that uh, you, know, you can do on your own. You do need a spotter. You do need someone to watch the quad. And also, if you happen to have 
the anti-light antenna system with it being directional, you've got no idea where that quad is in relation to, it's very difficult. Um, so my son basically just sort of kept turning me around so I was facing it. Because with it being directional, if your quad sits to the left or the right or even behind you, these aerials don't work too well and you will lose signal quite quickly. So I'm going to have a go at VR. Uh, the glasses, as I say, these were the £15 of Amazon uh, next day delivery. I was looking at first at getting the cardboard glasses, which were literally just cardboard, fold and assemble. Uh, they were about £12 when I saw these. Not dead comfy, as you can see, that it's very basic. It's, it's just a rubber frame on there. I really do need to get some kind of uh, foam, because otherwise it does, on the, the bridge part there, it, it does hurt your nose after about two or three minutes of wearing them. Um, the glasses have a, a field of view system, you can change the how far in they go, depending if you're a, how wide your eyes are, uh, to get the best sort of focus on the uh, on the phone. Focal point is preset, you simply open it up, as I said, pop your phone in, close it up again, press the home button if you're a bit too rough with it, and uh, the screen area. I did notice, by the way, that if you're using the S5 as I was today, I'll just show you in there, if I just slide it in, you'll notice that quite a part of the phone screen protrudes past the stop line there. So you don't see that part of the screen and it doesn't sort of uh, tell you up right inside. I suppose it's because of this, I mean, I, I suppose that I could sort of chop the, chop the plastic a little bit and lose that little corner piece there that stops the phone closing and the bottom piece there but then obviously you want to make sure that it doesn't slide out on you as you sort of move head left and right if you want to do that I found the head tracking by the way a little bit too uh, a little bit too sensitive for my, uh, my little phantom uh, in the end I turned off head tracking and just used the the gimbal wheel to control the camera which I thought was a, a little bit better so, go out try VR, have uh, fun with it, um, but make sure you have got a spotter. Um, I think it is a, a legal requirement, uh, well I say legal requirement, the CAA do advise that if you are going to fly FPV you do need someone uh, with you just to keep an eye on you know, birds, possible planes, uh, meteorites, Superman flying past, you know, whatever it is, you, you do need someone just to keep an eye on that sort of thing. So, have fun and uh, make a comment. Uh, below if you want to put down something and if you've been out in the air, if you've got any videos you've done um, feel free to give me a link and I'll stick them on the uh, on the web. Thank you.